Hey guys, last up reviews here. I just want to do a quick walkthrough on how to make ringtones to the iPhone and the iPhone 3G. Now, first thing you want to do is open up GarageBand. GarageBand is the easiest thing to make it for because it's built into the iLife bundle. And once you get in here, open up new projects. Uh, they introduced a thing called iPhone Ringtone in iLife 09. I haven't used it because I just find just doing it my way a little simpler. Alright, just type in the song you're probably going to pick out. You can rename it once you get it into iTunes. Uh, just close out the default stuff that pops up and open up the media section. Now, the default things you'll find are iTunes and GarageBand. I've added a few of my own folders on here. And then go ahead and search for the song you wanted to do. There we go. Can't talk and type at the same time, apparently. All right. Once you find the song, drag and drop it in. Now, next thing you want to do before really getting into like setting where the ringtone is going to be is switch the top bar here to time instead of measures. That because a ringtone can only be 40 seconds. So knowing how many measures it's going to be isn't going to help you that much. Then just adjust the where you want it to set it sit at. And the yellow bar is actually where the ringtone itself is. All the extra stuff on there you're not going to get. So pretty much anything beyond, let's see if I can't get the, well anything beyond this point right here is not going to be a part of the ringtone so it's not a big deal. Now you'll notice I left a small dead space here. It's mainly just because I've had a phone in the past where it let me set if I want the phone to vibrate a few times prior to the ringtone going off. And I really like that function. Unfortunately, Apple hasn't introduced that yet. I'm hoping maybe it's just one of those silent things in the iPhone 3.0 software, but I'm not holding my breath. But a workaround I found for that is just leave a few seconds of dead space. That way, once the phone goes off, it'll still vibrate a couple times, maybe two or three, depending on how long you have this, before the ringtone goes off and you disrupt class or something like that. So uh, once you've got the yellow bar set, you've got it where you'd like it. And keep in mind, you can drag this anywhere in the songs you want. I just start at the beginning because sometimes it's difficult to find a good starting point for the middle of a song. So then you just send the ringtone to iTunes. iTunes will pop up. It'll automatically start playing it. So I'm going to have to cut it off here. All right. As you can see, it kind of started playing, but I didn't want a lot of noise going on in the background. So... Guys, that's really it. It's a simple process, and once you get that on there, just plug in the iPhone. Let's see if I can't get it to pop up really fast. There we go. Go to ringtones, sync ringtones, select the songs you want. Guys, it's that simple. You can have as many ringtones as you want on your phone. They take almost no space, so... Guys, if you're tired of the iPhone ringtones, you want new ones, it's a really easy step to take. So I hope this really helps you guys out. And if you have any questions, you want me to go a little bit more into detail about how to do fade-ins, fade-outs, I will. But I figure that's more of a garage band thing, so I didn't want to get too into that. But this was just a quick walkthrough to help you guys out.